If you're fed up with waiting for the official Netflix app to make it to your iPhone, here's a way you can hack the Netflix iPad app to work on your iPhone instead. You'll need to jailbreak your iPhone to do this, so let's walk through that process really quickly first. Jailbreaking your iPhone is very simple thanks to jailbreakme.com, where you can just go to their website and just slide to jailbreak. Once you do this, it's going to start downloading some files, and it says it might take a while, but it's actually pretty quick if you're on Wi-Fi. But when it says sit tight for the jailbreak, it's not kidding. It's going to take a while, so let's just speed through that. Okay, there we go. So that's all you have to do. Now let's get into Cydia. Inside of Cydia, you're probably going to want to set it up as a user for the graphical interface only, and then you're just going to want to let it do its thing. When it's done, the first thing we need to do is install OpenSSH. Fortunately, Cydia has a nice little tutorial on how to do that if you scroll down on the main page. It even has a link to install OpenSSH, so you can click on that and hit the install button. Once OpenSSH is installed, you'll be able to connect to your iPhone via SSH. So we're going to do that, but first we need to get the Netflix app from iTunes. So go ahead and open iTunes and do a search for Netflix app. There are going to be a couple apps that show up for iPhone, but the official one is only available for iPad at this time. So go down to the iPad results, click on the official Netflix app, and download it. When you're done downloading it, we're going to have to go find it. So go into your iTunes folder, which is probably in your music folder, and then you're going to want to go into mobile apps. Inside of mobile apps, you should find a Netflix.ipa, which stands for iPhone application. I have two for some reason. Once it's copied, we need to rename it from Netflix.ipa to Netflix.zip. And then you can go ahead and unzip that file. That's going to give us a couple of things, but we really want what's in the payload folder. So go ahead and open that, and then from there, choose Netflix and move that into the folder. Now that we've got the Netflix app, it's time to SSH into your iPhone. First we need to get your iPhone's IP address, which you can usually get by going to Settings, and then the Wi-Fi settings. Now normally here you would see an IP address, but I had a problem after jailbreaking, so one thing you can do is install the Cydia app SB Settings, which stands for Springboard Settings, and you can get your iPhone IP that way. Or if you just prefer to have it work the normal way, I found that just doing a simple restart of the iPhone made everything show up just how it was supposed to. Now before we actually log into the iPhone over SSH, we're going to secure copy the Netflix app to your applications folder. So I'm just typing SCP space minus R space the path to the Netflix app on your hard drive and then root at your iPhone's IP address colon slash application slash. As you can see it copies over pretty quickly and so once you're done there's one more thing we need to do to get the Netflix app to function properly. So we're gonna SSH into your iPhone and it's pretty similar to the secure copy method you just do SSH space root at your iPhone's IP address and then you'll hit enter and be prompted for a password in a few minutes. It can sometimes take a long time the first time around, but after that it should go a bit faster. The first time you log in, your password is going to be Alpine. You're probably going to want to change that for security purposes, but we'll leave that up to you. Once you're in, you just need to find the Netflix application. So just CD, change directory, to wherever you put it, and then type chmod space 755 slash netflix.app and that will let you change the permissions on the Netflix app so it will run. Okay, finally we're at the fun part. What you're going to need is a non-Safari web browser like Atomic Browser or Perfect Browser. Atomic's cheaper though. So once you get that, you're going to go into the settings of the browser and choose Identify Browser As and we're going to identify the browser as an iPad which is what's known to work with the Netflix app. If you have it identified as an iPhone, it won't work so Make sure it's an iPad, save your settings, and then go to the Netflix website. From there, you can go to Instant Streaming and choose any movie you want, and just go ahead and click Play. Once you successfully do that, it will open up the Netflix application for iPad. It's not pretty, but it will play the movie. So just give it a second to prepare, and then buffer the stream, 
and in about a minute, maybe less, you'll be able to watch movies not only over your Wi-Fi connection, but over 3G as well. And just to give you an idea of how quick this can be, let's just take a nice little scrub through the movie, just about halfway, and you'll see how fast it updates. Now you can watch Netflix on your iPhone.